It is time for a scientific experiment. Having recently got the cheapest alcoholic cider I could possibly get from the local supermarket and tried carbonated, I thought, you know what would be interesting? If I ran a bottle of this through the water distiller, what would actually come out? Would it be apple or would it have no flavour at all? Well, there's only one way to find out, and that is to crack this bottle open and run this duty-paid alcohol through the distiller uh, and see what happens. Let's see if I can tip this in a controlled manner without pouring it everywhere. This may take a while to tip in. This will, it's splashing everywhere. That's, uh, that's, uh, expected. Right, tell you what, at this point it's going to take a while to come out here. At this point it's going to take a while to come out. Uh, I shall keep pouring it in, run it through, and I'll be back in a moment. One moment, please. The experiment is done, and it threw up a wildly unexpected result. Something that took me by surprise. So this is a 2.5 litre bottle at 7.5% volume. And when I computed that, it came out at 188 millilitres of pure ethanol. So I computed, well, if you divide that down to the equivalent of 40%, then it would be 470 millilitres. And I marked that on the side of a glass and then just ran it through until it reached the top. It's a pint of vodka is in your Frosty Jack's bottle. You should probably be aware of that. And uh, a, a Russian spiritimer floated in it, showed that it was 40%. So um, that's a lot of alcohol. Ooh. Anyway, here's the apple residue that was left in the tank afterwards. Let's taste it and see what is left. It's definitely very apple but it doesn't seem as sweet. And it wouldn't be the sugar that would go across. It would have been sweeteners of anything if, if it's lost sweetness, but it does seem to taste quite dry. Maybe I just have a different memory of the taste of the actual stuff out of the bottle. I should have tasted it beforehand, shouldn't I? Here, however, is the spirit that came out, uh, which I ran through until it reached the 40% volume. What does it taste like? Bitter. It's got a strong, strong bitter note to it that I wouldn't really associate with cheap supermarket vodka. This is the sort of bitter note that they'd probably hide in drinks like gin by adding juniper and flavourings to it which then became a designer drink, but that's a minor technicality. Um, I don't get the, t the sweetness. I thought sweetness would have gone across. I'm not really detecting. Then again, it is 40% vodka-type stuff, so there is no real flavour at all, other than that strong, bitter note. So that concludes the experiment. Um, I wouldn't recommend distilling stuff like that. You're going to end up with a... There's no point. You'd be better, just cheaper and easier, going and buying a bottle of vodka. But, you know, I felt the need to do the experiment anyway and see what happened. And, well, I have to say, a pint of vodka per bottle, that's quite a lot. That was the biggest surprise of the whole video.